all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and today we have a toronto raptors trade video less than two days from now the trade deadline will be over and honestly some kind of bad news for raptors fans here so earlier today uh jake fisher reported that the raptors are discussing a goran Dragic trade with multiple teams atlanta and toronto have discussed a denote Danilo Gallinari for Dragic trade, and then Toronto and Indiana have discussed a trade regarding Goran and a first-round pick for Miles Turner. I would imagine a guy like uh, Brian Malachi Flynn or Svi would be in that trade as well, but that value is so low for a player like Miles Turner. The bad news is the the Pacers traded Demonis Sabonis for Tyrese Halliburton earlier today. And Miles Turner seems ecstatic. Miles Turner, if you if you don't remember, just a couple of weeks ago, he expressed his desire to be a top option on a team. Like he wants to be that dude. And with Sabonis in town, with Karis Levert in town, I guess he just wasn't happy for some reason. Too much not in the in the spotlight. I don't really know what Miles Turner was kind of you know hinting at there, but he seems ecstatic and apparently some quotes came out that he cannot wait to play with Tyrese Halliburton so this is a tough situation right here this is a tough situation because Indiana has been getting fleeced all trade deadline like they're getting good pieces back in return but they're not really getting like draft assets they're not really getting as much as I would have thought they would get for both Karis Lefer and Sabonis so if there was a time to strike it was probably a day or two ago. Probably a day or two ago. So I think most Raptors fans at this point are willing to trade Drogic for pretty much anybody who who can help their team out. Now, Gallinari is pretty interesting. I don't know if Gallinari would start or come off of the bench or if he started, you know, Scotty Barnes comes off the bench, what have you. But Miles Turner, man, I still want the Raptors to make a move for it because at the end of the day, it's not all up to Miles Turner, right? You know, yeah, Miles Turner doesn't want to leave maybe now, now that he's like kind of that dude. But like I said, man, it's not really up to him. It's up to the Pacers. And you look at Miles Turner right now, he's 25 years old. He's 6'11. He has a wingspan of 7 feet and 4 inches. This man would turn the Toronto Raptors into an immediate contender for the championship. I mean, so far this season, averaging actually less than 30 minutes per game. He can shoot the three ball. He's shooting it at a 34% clip so far, but he's averaging 13 points per game, seven rebounds, and then 2.8 blocks. 2.8 blocks, that is absolutely unbelievable. Last season, he averaged 3.4 blocks. That's even crazier. So if you put... I mean, we talk about this on the channel all the time. If the Raptors were to get like a star caliber center, it's over. It's a wrap. Give them the damn trophy because it's over. It's completely over. Imagine the Raptors were to make a trade for Goran, or Goran Dragic for Miles Turner. And then some way, somehow, you know, maybe whether it's in the buyout market or they decide to trade away Malachi Flynn or they decide to wait, try trade away Chris Boucher, maybe even Precious Achua, and they got like three solid bench pieces, it would actually be, it would be over. Hand the championship to Toronto if they can stay healthy. That's like been Toronto's kind of kicker the last couple of seasons is, can they stay healthy? Can their top dudes, can Siakam stay healthy? And for the most part, that's what they've been doing ever since they have all kind of gotten back to full strength. So it is bad news for Toronto as far as Miles Turner's expressing all of this happiness right now with playing with Tyrese Halliburton. And you got to admit, Indiana's, you know, while I thought they were going to get more value back for Karis, Karis, honestly, specifically, I mean, that Rubio, kind of, they kind of got shafted there. Sabonis, though, I still think you could have gotten more for Sabonis, but you do get Tyrese Halliburton onto the roster. You also get Buddy Heald, so a nice little shooter. It's super interesting. It is super interesting. The good news for Toronto is just if if Miles Turner's off the table, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. You still got guys like Mo Bamba. You still got guys like Joseph Nurkic, um, Danilo Gallinari. It's honestly looking like a Danilo Gallinari trade might be the most likely scenario. A lot of it kind of boils down to, 
you know, what is what are opposing teams looking for in Drogic? Are they looking for a player or are they looking for, you know, first round draft pick and they'll take on his expiring contract? Because if you're a rebuilding team, I mean, Goron, I'd take a first round pick for Goron. Like, hell yeah, you, you can take, you know, one of my third string, or not third string, like my third tier, you know, not my first best player, maybe the second best player, the third third and fourth, like those guys are open. So Toronto isn't necessarily screwed um, whatsoever, whatsoever. And, you know, being the fifth youngest roster, fifth, fifth youngest starting five, I apologize, is kind of scary. Like, it's kind of scary knowing what they can be capable of. But at the end of the day, it's looking like this isn't going to be the year. It's looking like this isn't going to be the year. Not not even necessarily talking about championship aspirations. I mean more so like I don't think this is the year the Raptors make that move that puts them over the top. Like I don't think they're going to come out, trade away Precious, trade away Chris, trade away Goron, trade away two firsts and, you know, get two stars back and or one star and like three bench pieces. I don't think that's going to happen this season. I think Masai, Bobby, I think they're going to play it a little smart, a little safe. Wait for teams maybe to, you know, kind of test the waters here. One thing I've learned this trade deadline is players are going for cheap right now. Like, they're literally just going for cheap. I feel like every single trade so far, there has been maybe not a clear winner and loser, but there's been a short-term clear winner and loser. Long-term, super up in the air. Other team could win it, but... I mean, Goron and a first-round pick throwing Malachi Flynn, as crazy as it sounds, that trade offer, like, that's actually going to go places, as crazy as it sounds. So that's really it for today. If you guys enjoyed it, you like Daily Raptors content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's try and hit 100 likes on today's video. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, comment some opinions on the Raptors trade deadline. Uh, if you think Miles Turner is the guy, if you think Gallinari, or you know, Mo Bamba, whoever the guy you think it is, go ahead, drop that down below.